ձեզ ամբողջ մի կանքի ինձ համար հուշեր է ինչ ունեն աժեք ու գին կեզ իմ սիրով եմ շնորակար անգամ եթե կտեմ խոսք է շատ հան համար է լու եմ միշկ իսար չի հերիքի ոչ խոսք որ երկու կան սիրո համար իմ անհատար
and I invite all godparents and parents to do the same. I'm going to read a, a gospel passage from Mark's gospel uh, of the account of, of the baptism of Jesus. It starts with John, who we hear a lot about at the moment, who everybody thought was the Messiah. Uh, and uh, he says this, or the gospel says this. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him, confessing their sins. They were baptised by him in the Jordan River. John wore clothing made of camel's hair, and with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. And this was his message. After me comes the one more powerful than I, the straps of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I baptise you with water, but he will baptise you with the Holy Spirit. At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptised by John in the, in the Jordan. Just as Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son whom I love. With you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. And so baptism is, is the beginning uh, of a journey with God. It's the start of something uh, that, that you've chosen to do today uh, for these children, to bring them up in uh, a life of love, uh, God's love. Uh, it's the sort of love that uh, we as Christians uh, strive to do ourselves. We sometimes make a mess of it, though, um, and, uh, uh, and we shouldn't, but we know that. It's the sort of love that even when something or someone uh, is unlovable, we still continue to love. So it's not just about being kind to one another, it's entirely unconditional and keeps on giving out love <coughs> over and over again. There's no human limits. So godparents, godparents, you might need to translate this, this is important. You've been chosen to make sure that today's promises are kept. It's why there's more than one of you. So if one of you fails, the other one picks up where the other one's dropped off. It's important. Your duty is to make sure these children are brought up in the Christian faith. And the easy way to do that is making sure they're here on a Sunday morning. So there's three of you. So it means you've only got to do it once a month. Parents will bring them once. You bring them the next week. You bring them the next week. You bring them the next week. Because we'll never know otherwise, it's important. To be a Christian, you have to belong to a Christian community. And you can't call yourself a Christian if you don't belong to a Christian community. It's where we grow with others, uh, I think. And today is the day that you state that claim for these three to be part of this Christian community, or another one. Otherwise, when it comes to their being able to speak for themselves, um, they can't. Now we're going to use various symbols today um, uh, to remind us of certain things. We use the cross, which dominates our building. Um, it's a symbol of our Christian faith. It reminds us of Christ's love for us, even so much as giving up his own life for us as a sacrifice. Water, we're going to use water. And that's a that's symbolic of our drowning in the waters and rising to a new life. Uh, and it also unites us with Christ's dying and rising from the dead. Uh, I'm going to use oil here, two sorts of oil. 
Um, oil is, uh, heat is for healing and fruitfulness, uh, but also it reminds us that uh, soldiers used to anoint themselves for battle. Um, and I think it's fair to say that uh, being Christians today is a bit of a battle, because we're almost going great against the grain. Also kings and queens uh, were anointed at their, comfort, their coronation to mark that they had chosen by God. And so when I come to anoint you with the oil of chrism, I'm going to anoint a little crown on your head rather than a cross. Because you are princes and princesses in God's sight. And then we're going to give you a lighted candle. Anne just prepared some lovely candles for you uh, to remind us of that new life, the light of Christ, which we walk in for the rest of your lives. And I'm going to ask all of you to recommit your own baptismal promises if you feel able, particularly parents and godparents, because you're the ones speaking on behalf of these children. So let's get on and do it. So, service sheets. Here we are. So at the bottom of the sheet here. Almighty and ever living God, who sent your only son, son to rescue us from the slavery of sin and give us the freedom only your sons and daughters enjoy. We now pray for these children who will have to face the world with its temptations and fight the devil in all his coming. Your son died and rose again to save us by his victory over sin and death. Cleanse these children from the stain of original sin. Strengthen them with the grace of Christ and watch over them every step in life's journey. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So I'm now going to anoint each of the children. Uh, and I'm going to anoint here. Okay? So this one I need to anoint here. Paulina, we anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Saviour. May he strengthen you with his power to live and reign forever and ever. There we are. Done. Eva. Eva. We anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Saviour. May he strengthen you with his power who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Vladislav, you ready? Vladislav, we anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Saviour. May he strengthen you with his power who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 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 So, parents and godparents, we're here, the decision, okay? English or Slovakian, you need to answer, this is important. In baptism, God calls us out of darkness into his marvellous light. To follow Christ means dying to sin and rising to new life with him. Therefore, I ask you, do you reject the devil and all rebellion against God? We reject them. Do you renounce the deceit and corruption of evil? We renounce them. Do you repent of the sins that separate us from God and neighbour? We repent them. Do you turn to Christ as Saviour? Do you submit to Christ as Lord? Do you come to Christ, the way, the truth, and the life? We come, come to Christ. Christ. And so uh, we now come to the affirmation of faith. This is for everybody, if you feel it. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord? who was born of the Virgin Mary, 
was crucified, died and buried, and rose again from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the Church. We are proud to profess it in Christ our Lord. Fight valiantly on the disciple of Christ against sin, the world, and the devil, and remain faithful to Christ to the end of your life. I'm going to move now to the font. Thanks to the Lord our God. It is right in your we thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water to sustain, refresh, and cleanse all life. Over water the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through water you led the children of Israel from slavery in Egypt to freedom in the Promised Land. In water your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us from the death of sin to the newness of life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it we are buried with Christ in his death. By it we share in his resurrection. Through it we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we baptise into the fellowship of those, into his fellowship those who come to faith in him. Now sanctify this water, that by the power of your Holy Spirit, they may be cleansed from sin and born again. Renewed in your image, may they walk by the light of faith and continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ our Lord, <clears throat> to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honour and glory, now and forever. Amen. Amen. This is it. Do you want to hold on me? Do you care about me? The list. Me? The list. Number two, the yeah. end. Yeah. <laughs> oh, lovely. Do you want to just get your link up? Paulina, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Stand up, stand up on this top step. That's it, lean over. Are you ready? Yes. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Just here. And that is up. Stand on the top step. There we go. We lean over. Are you ready? Ladislav. Oh, you smell good. <laughs> I baptise you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now I'm going to anoint them with the oil of chrism. <clears throat> this is the most precious of all the oils, as says, 
kings and queens are anointed at their coronation um, and it's, it's infused with balsam. It smells lovely. Um, and so the, the church uses this when priests are blessed. We, we, have our, we have our hands anointed and kings and queens. So as I said, I'm going to draw a little crown on your heads uh, because you are princes and princesses in God's eyes. Yes, please. Yes, please. The God of power and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin, given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy people. <laughs> he now anoints you with the chrism of salvation. As Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so you, may you live always as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. Amen. 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 You are wearing white. Is it, yours is white as well, isn't it? So I'm going to, uh, you're wearing white, you're all wearing white. So you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. So see in these white garments the outward sign of your Christian dignity with your family and friends to help you by word and example. Bring that dignity untainted, unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. Can you just wipe me thumb? <laughs> Thanks. And so the Lord Jesus made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith. To the praise and glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism. By the one spirit, we were all baptised into one body. We welcome you into the fellowship of faith. We are children of the same Heavenly Father. We welcome you. Give you a round of applause. You've all been as good as you. And so, what's the, what's the translation of the Lord's, of the Our Father? You know our Father. What, what's Slovakian for Our Father? So tell the tell these so they can say in Slovakian. Tell them to say in Slovakian. At the Savior's command. I call my divine teaching. Our Father, and 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 lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So I'm going to take the blue one first. Have you got all of the other ones? I'm going to, normally, you, you can hold it. Normally I give that to God's parents. Receive the light of Christ. Receive the light of Christ. Are you going to take this one? God parents. Receive the light of Christ. So parents and God parents. This light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. These children of yours have been enlightened by Christ. They are to walk always as children of the light. May they keep the flame of faith alive in their hearts. And when the Lord comes, may he go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. Amen. Amen. Mum, your mum. God the Father, through his son, the Virgin Mary's child has brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May he bless the mother of this child, because she now thanks God for the gift of her children. May she be one with them in thanking him forever in heaven, 
in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 You now, you. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he bless the father of this, these children, because he and his wife will be the first teachers of their children in the ways of faith. May they also be the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith by what they say and do. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless you too. And now a blessing for everybody here. And so may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Now, the tradition, the tradition with these candles, you can blow them out now if you want, is, perhaps not for these two because they're older, but certainly for this one, is you light them for an hour, either on this day or on their birthday every year, and when there's nothing left, they need to be confirmed, brought to the bishop for confirmation. That's the idea. But you two... And nearly due for confirmation. <laughs> but you've got to come to church. You've got to come to church. So you're old enough to make sure these bring you to church on a Sunday morning.
Fának egy szemlánya Szívem gyönyörű virágom Neked szól ez a dal, mert szeretlek Drága egyetlen kislányom Te vagy a legszebb a világon Szívemnek gyönyörű napsugara Te vagy a tavasz a téli éjszakában A legszebb szerelemet nagy világban a rám nevetsz Elfeledem minden bánatot Te vagy a szivárvány Viharos életemben A bárki mondaná, hogy semmim Sincsen csak azt felelni A nelike a mindenet Tavasz jön és tél is újra De amikor hozzám bújva Halkan suttogod Apa szeretlen Én szeretlek Nelikén téged Jobban, mint az életemet Hát neked adom én a szívemet Te vagy a tavasz A téli éjszakában A legszebb szerelemet Már világban a rám nevetsz Elfeledem minden bánatom Te vagy a szivárvány Milyen a sénetemben Ha bárki mondaná, hogy semmi Sincs, én csak azt felelném A nelike a mindenet
Thank you.